today's world of distractions, social media, daily tasks and to-do lists that never end, societal pressures and isolated working and living conditions. I remember reading the website and it talked about the Dragon Ball Z hyperbolic time chamber, a place where the main characters of the show would go and just train for a year straight with zero distractions. And they would walk out of the time chamber completely transformed beings. You ascended to the next level! Now imagine if a place like that was recreated in reality. And when I saw the Bali time chamber as a new concept, things just clicked for me. And I knew that we had to tell this story. Having lived in a small apartment in London for the last six years of my life, surrounded by the grueling pressures of the rat race, separation from nature and disconnection from the men around me, I was longing for a brotherhood that would push me, that I could laugh with and that I could go into battle with in daily life. In today's society, we are so blessed with the comforts and the abundance and safety experienced by kings not too long ago. We have lost something as men, something I think we all desire deep down, a desire for challenge, to feel part of something bigger than yourself and to have men on your team ready to die for you, to embrace that warrior inside and most importantly, not to venture through life's challenges alone. Anytime I would watch a big rugby match or a sporting event like the Olympics, the hair on the back of my neck would rise up and something primal in me would awaken only to disappear when the game or the sporting event would end. Living in a world now that is as global as ours is, we have so many people around us, but we feel more lonely than ever before. Why in these times of connection, a time of Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, do we as men feel more anxious, more depressed, more lost than ever before? A quote that comes to mind often is that hard times create strong men, strong men create good times, and good times create weak men. The cycle continues over and over again. And I think it's quite apparent that we are now in a period of good times and weak men. These are children that have never had the initiation into manhood or have ever been taught what it means to be a strong man that can provide lead with surety, conviction, and empathy. Now more than ever, we need a way to bridge this gap and provide the conditions for strong men to rise up again. Not in isolation, but together, without having to wait for a global war to initiate this movement. So that is what we are documenting this month at the Bali Time Chamber. A group and a meeting of 16 highly motivated men who are going to be living together in a world-class facility in the northern mountains of Bali. If this story resonates with you, brother, take action on your own mission. Get rid of all of the things that are stopping you from being the man that you were born to be. Hello guys. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> Better? Yes. <laughs> Yeah, I'm Joe Sheard. I'm from Ireland. My name is Patrick Bell. My name is uh... <laughs> My name is Felix Gilor. I'm half Greek, half Danish. From Hungary, Budapest. From Morocco. From California, Northern California. Je viens de de Paris. I'm from France. 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 Apparently, just like lots of the guys here. Man, I'm excited for what's to come. <laughs> Hi, my name is Nico. I'm the creator of the Bali Time Chamber. So welcome to my place. So the Bali Time Chamber is kind of a capsule where it's not just about training, it's not just about business, it's not just about relationships, it's about everything at the same time. If you can see all the other concepts of retreats all around the world, you just have a schedule, you have a teacher, you sit down, you listen. This is completely different. My big priority was when people come here, they don't have to think about anything else than just working on themselves. This is no schedule, really hyper focus on these whole months. So the Bali Time Chamber is located on a really steep hill, so we have four cabins that can accommodate four people in each. It's really minimalistic and really efficient, and we have a whole crew of staff just taking care of everything. Food, cleaning, laundry, 
all these small daily tasks that takes you away from your goals and the thing you want to really work on. Yeah, I want to make this place a center to create superheroes. You know, I want to have guys coming from all around the world which are master in some fields. Like we already have here. They just arrived and we have so many guys already pulling one arm chin ups. Uh, we have some millionaire guys already. We have guys who like have a deep knowledge on the on the human body, and we can all share our knowledge and experience. And that's what makes this whole thing really, really powerful. Being a man is just not being strong or being rich. It's it's a whole thing that we try to to share in this um, Bali Time Chamber. After settling down in Ottawa, the capital of Canada, I uh, really started kind of trying to figure out what I wanted to do with my life. I've tried university. I've tried the minimum wage job. I've tried the kitchen job, the construction job. It was dirty, you know, grunt labor. It's a very head down atmosphere in the, in the capital. Just, you know, get your job, do something with it. You're not really taught to dream and, you know, dreamers kind of get pushed out of society. I've always been kind of the black sheep, having a hard time fitting in. I dropped out of university twice. It just wasn't feeling right. I had a very hard time thinking myself being in, in that box, working eight hours every day, coming in, sitting on a computer. It really wasn't my aim to make so much money. When I first started, it was like, let's just make one million dollars. And that was my goal. And so when it started to become more and more, I sort of lost a lot of the principles and why I began crypto in the first place. It became more about partying, drinking, living a life with a girlfriend that I couldn't really afford. I saw addictions. So I guess ever since I was a child, I had adversity, physiological adversity. I loved athleticism, but there was always just something going on. But I had a skin condition as a youngster and they gave me certain topical steroids and different things to put on my skin. And that would last up until two and a half years ago when I realized that I have a, I have a drug addiction. My skin would flare because of when I would stop using it and I needed to go through withdrawal. I couldn't move my body. My skin would tear when I moved. I couldn't regulate body temperature. It turned into, into a life-threatening category it just had to continue to move forward every day believe the best and do the best things i could nutritionally supplementally everything like that so i felt very alone and uh, that got me into a very dark dark mode i got very depressed i got very suicidal because i was suppressing my soul purpose what i felt like i was destined for and it really took me not only making money once and losing it, but making it twice and losing it, and possibly even like maybe even the third time to then really say stop. And I moved back into my bedroom where I grew up in and I opened the door. I looked at the mirror. I always remember seeing myself in and I was like, oh man, what have you let happen to yourself? You know, like I gained 10 plus 15 maybe kg from when I had left before. My face was so round and I was just like, I'm, I need something to change here. So I was obsessed with anime, specifically Dragon Ball Z growing up. So when I heard about this experience, time chamber, I was like, no way. I know what's possible in the time chamber. The whole concept brought together like a childhood fantasy of what would it be like to train like Goku, to train like these Super Saiyans and right now, um, 
three years into marriage, we're getting ready to have kids. And I just look at this, especially with a growing business as well too. And it's not that I was in a time deficit beforehand, but what if I could gift myself another year inside of the summer? And having lost years, what better environment could I get in to make up for potential you know, lost time? I'll remember when I was rock bottom and where I'll be even after just this experience because of what's available to us here. And I bought this one-way ticket to Bali with a plan of building this online community so I can provide everything that have caused me suffering. And I just want to give the solutions to the people that need it. I definitely want to be challenged and pushed. Like, I definitely don't want to have it easy. Like, it's a beautiful place. You can, you know, kind of get lost in paradise. But the main reason I'm here is to kind of get into the pressure cooker. To save money for myself, to train, focus on what keeps me grounded, eat quality foods, hang around like-minded people. I just needed somewhere where I could sit down and focus, creating a product that I'm happy to put out there. Step into a new saga of life, you know, shift the pattern so that anything that comes our way is just gonna feel completely different because of the strength that we gained in this time here. It's kind of like Goku stepping into the time chamber. No, I think we can start. Huh? We are all uh, students and teachers at the same time. We all have unique experiences. So it's also the duty to share it, to share what you did so we can help other people. And by saying it, by expressing it, it's also helping you. All the thing that's brought me the most was always the, the small discussion with some guys, you know, you just get the best out of one guy. Here was really cool, so like we have 16 guys to just take the best from each other. We directly go to the effective part. And I feel like that's, that's more powerful than a, than a classic retreat when we just sit down and have a, a schedule of like, this morning we do this, this afternoon we do this. Everyone is coming from different background and you all have different goals but you're all gonna have this experience of like getting to a new chapter and you're gonna just make it your own way. It's just the support, it's just like, okay, we're here to support you during these whole months and then you're gonna do what you want. But I was really hoping that like you guys come here and we can like start this whole new concept because it didn't really exist before. Like I didn't find anything like this. When did you start thinking about creating this place? Exactly one year ago, when I started. I was actually like thinking about going back to France. I wanted to kind of stop the online uh, business because I just didn't feel really connected with it. It was good for a few years, but at some point I felt like, okay, I want something in the real world. So one year ago, instead of going back to France, I said, okay, let's, let's just try again. Let's just move around and like see if I can find a place that I can feel at home and I feel like there is potential. And that's when I arrived in Munduk. I mean, Nico in my accommodation in the middle of a plantation. And I passed down the road, I saw this place, Mundo Clove. So I went back and uh, that's how I met Oka. I said, okay, I want to stay for a few months. Like, is it possible to do something? And he directly said, yeah, no problem. You can use our kitchen, you can use this. And I was like, okay, okay, that's, that's awesome. And Nico starting bring some equipment, training. And I know Nico step by step. I just clicked directly with him. I just felt like really good energy. Nico uh, make a hobby and walking. This is a good idea. Two months after, we starting discuss about time chamber. Everything started happening after I met Oka because he allowed me to stay here and he showed me the land. I remember the first time we came here and I just saw this amazing view and I was like, okay, wow, there is a, a huge potential here. I just fell in love with it. I didn't want something really accessible where everyone can come and go. This is really secluded place. Make me stressed because far from access, I think this is impossible. But Nico support me, make me convert and... A few days after, we just build the team, just get a few guys. Door to door the farmer who not have walk. So we invite to walking together. I would say we had a, a few guys that had some experience building before, but most of them, they had zero experience. We learn in uh, some YouTube, some social media, we sharing. The access was really, really tricky because we have just a small footpath coming with, with scooter. We have a technique, bring manual until make a flat manual, not have machine. When I say this, people don't really, <laughs> they 
believe me, the trickiest part was the glasses, because <laughs> because we don't really realize it, but we have glasses of like two meter by two meter. So we basically had to bring everything that's on site by scooter. That's why these guys are, are really uh, amazing guys. They can just make anything happen. Time chamber make impact for the local people because we building this place out of people here. Before, a lot of people here drinking a lot, now have a job. We training people to running business now have a better life. The, the meeting with Oka was really magic. It's like really because of him that everything happened. And I really didn't imagine to have everything uh, we did right now at the beginning for sure. Yeah, I, now I'm feeling this uh, real, yeah, real time chamber here. I was going to say it sounds like an excuse. It's here. It, it sounds like, no, I, I'm just on, he's on check. He can't. So let me, let me get on the bar. Yeah, gotcha. What are you doing? He can't. He can't. Yeah. The next person goes. Alright, you good? I feel like everything is made to have a perfect day every day. The atmosphere here is so conducive to growth. With everything that you need to thrive just right in front of you. Great service on your doorstep. I don't have to worry about getting my clothes washed, cooking my food. Tapas, tapas, tapas. The food is some of the best food I've ever had. Unlimited grass-fed beef, high-quality root vegetables and carbs. We have many connections with all the local people, so we can have really fresh food, fish, seafood coming from the island. We have one of the best meat coming from Australia directly here. The main priority for me, it was to have the best food possible at the restaurant. Why isn't everything like this? Why isn't everything prepared this way? You really have to show restraint because you work out, you train and you exercise all in the same room where you can order food. So you can actually train, eat and recover everything in the same area to keep this connection and not having private spaces dedicated to specific things. Yeah, there is no schedule, nothing that's beautiful because it makes everything flow as, as it is. You don't waste your energy on learning something it doesn't interest you. So it's even more powerful because you're going to talk with the guys that are meant to help you and it's going to happen the way you, you want it to happen. You know, there's people that are here that are leagues ahead of me in the business and just connecting with them, masterminding, and you feel good because you're nourished, you're around people who are pushing you to your potential and just get in the mix of using all the equipment here, all the different therapies that are here designed to upregulate your potential. You have guys also in the spa, in the sauna, in the ice bath. We get high on our own supply, create our own DMT. I think that's it's more important for me, it's the sauna at the end of the day. <laughs> I'm sleeping in a place of opportunity. There's people here where I think we're all here like life students. So let's enjoy this classroom and make the best of it. Yeah, talking about workouts, man. I've been hitting like two to three workouts a day. Over the last week, I think I've got 12 to 14 workouts in, which is unheard of for me. Over the first week, we saw a lot of guys set big goals and targets for their businesses. The second I, I signed up for the Bali Time Chamber, rest just entered my life in, in a whole new way. It's just been this beautiful, um, you know, synchronicity of the slowness and stillness of rest, while also the propulsion of purpose. One of the businesses that I run is called Kingdom Health, and so inside of that I get the opportunity to go uh, into churches and run online health coaching programs. One of the things that was on my heart is how can I take these classes that I teach in person and condense them into these easy to read picture books. So I'm averaging about 
uh, 2,000 words a day. Today I got 2,700 words done before you know breakfast was even starting to get served here and so now I get to just hang out the guys and there's a family type environment developing here. It's a bonding experience you know it's a brotherhood it's we are we are connecting. If someone's willing to take a month off of their life and commit it to their self-growth. I want to be around those guys 24-7. And man, these guys don't disappoint. These guys are like, excellent. Some of the fittest lads I've ever seen in my life here, and I knew that coming here. And my fear was, am I too inexperienced? Before I was bouncing, you know, my ball of thought <laughs> into a wall and getting nothing back. Now I'm actually giving it to a human being that has some experiences that is helping me a lot. We're here to multiply our greatness with one another, with other warriors in the time chamber. It's a little hard being away from my parent. It's a little hard being away from my mother. It was one thing actually my father, he always had with me was he didn't care what I did in my life. He just wanted me to be the best. And I think that a lot of people here have this similar mindset. It's such a breath of fresh air to be able to talk about my father, I'm able to talk about my the experience. I thought um, I was just gonna be connecting with the guys who were here, but even the people who work here at the restaurant, through conversation, I got invited to join them at their church. And I was really nervous. I, I didn't know how well it would go with translating, but it was phenomenal. The people there were just so appreciative. I was so thankful just to be able to have that new experience and also carry the message that I carry. The, the locals here, I'm, I'm going to be friends with for a long time. We follow each other on Instagram and <laughs> got each other's WhatsApps. And so it was a, a really cool surprise to be able to connect with them. How many of you guys have experience with just various forms of breath work? We're just going to get into basics, breathing mechanics. We want to have mastery over our nervous system, shift into nasal breath inhalation and exhalation silently strongly every single guy here are literally masters of their craft in some area top performance athletes millionaire investors everyone has their unique skill set two weeks down now the way people are moving through their targets and their goals is insane one of the coolest things that we've noticed around the whole no schedule is that workshops have just been popping up quite naturally so you just see a workshop happening you just jump to it you say okay i'm interested in uh, bulletproof my knee i'm interested in this kind of uh, bitcoin talk crypto discussions business life stories nicholas did it for me without even asking he's like joe's hosting the mobility class tomorrow night i could feel like the pit in my stomach that was like, can I give value? So I've seen a few of the other workshops that have gone on and I've taken part of them. And I'm like, wow, everyone's able to give so much. And within like two to three minutes, I think there was like nine, 10 people participating. And I was like, oh, seeing that people wanted to do that and they appreciated and they came up and they were like, I like your teaching style, man. Like, nice, Joe. Like, that's, you, you got value, you know? There, there's so much value that you're not expressing exactly why I'm doing it because I want to be able to give that value be able to help someone there I got to teach a handstand workshop it sparked something a little bit in me that I would like to do a little bit more of you come here and your knowledge was respected by other people enough that they asked you to share and that was cool The flow and exchange of knowledge and information through the connections that are being made is uh, something incredible, something that I think a lot of co-working spaces try to emulate. Some things that I just couldn't do at home, I can do here, cutting down the time that would have taken you a few months. You may take a few minutes to an hour, just like gleaning from individuals here that have proficiency in different areas, I think has been the game changer. Felix, he's been giving everyone treatments, he's been working on people, and he's even started his podcast. So if I'm gonna massage someone, especially some of these athletes uh, with ambitions and stories, organically we're gonna have a conversation. So might as well put a mic on you, put a mic on me, get some cool visual content, and then just have an amazing conversation. That's been a lot of fun. 
I think the fact that we're all living together, eating together, saunering together, training together, going for walks in nature together, it already feels like we've known each other for a lifetime. So perhaps that's the time chamber working. It's magic. Man, like I, I found a brother. You know, like I found someone that like I turned to. My buddy Joe, man, Joe had a way of expressing himself that matched my way of expressing myself. Sending him memes, like just dropping him a voice note. I'm thinking of something, he finishes a thought before I even said it. It's crazy the wavelengths that we have. Keeping up in contact, even when we're just like across the way from each other. It's like, man, listen, like when, when this whole Bali time chamber thing ends, there's no way we're gonna go our separate ways. We're thinking about combining our businesses down the line a little bit, maybe start a podcast with each other. Uh, we've already talked about, I would go visit him in Ireland. He's gonna be moving to Canada with his girlfriend. So that's like an exciting thing that's come out of it. So I didn't really think was gonna happen. For sure, there's a bright future and a great friendship to discover with Joe. I'm really looking forward to that. One of the coolest parts about the location around here is that it's an incredibly spiritual land. Tamdingan Lake is a holy lake, very important part. Every village in Bali come here to healing. Because this is like the heart of Bali. Being in this environment, you could feel the mystique in the air. You could feel the energy was different. Here you understand your connection in a deep way because you're given time go deep into the mind, go deep into the body. Being here in the jungle, you can stare off into nature for two, three, four hours at a time and, and come back with the answers you need. To go on these adventures with the guys, to go and see these beautiful waterfalls, to spend time in nature together. That's what will be remembered. That's what really brought us closer as brothers. The days that I know are gonna stick in my mind most, are the days where we got together as a group. Regardless if it was around the fireplace, if it was a big workout, if it was a conversation and heart to heart between different people. That's when time stopped for a bit and uh, we just enjoyed being there all together. They're gonna be the things that I remember for as long as I remember. Four weeks has gone by in a blink of an eye. So the time dilation aspect to it, I can honestly say that that is accurate. It honestly feels like it's been a year. Week one is like just getting adjusted and now week four is just coming back into reality, man. Freaking smashed all of my goals, finished five books this month. I'm gonna finish book number six tomorrow. I'm excited to go back home, see my wife and just integrate a lot of the good things that have happened this month. I came with no expectation, but going with the big baggage of knowledge, of growth, of new friends and start to make some money that I didn't even plan to do that. What I found, it's really beautiful and it's really impactful. And I believe that it's gonna change all of us in, in a way, you know. Being here not only increased my earning potential, but I've made the money I spent on coming here back in sales. Like I've loved the every second going through. Sometimes are hard, sometimes are easy, but the people here have made it what it is. Ah, oh, man, I feel like I got to connect with myself in a way that I had it in a very long time. Trust the process, like this is exactly what you need, the way you need it. I found an inner strength and inner confidence in me by coming here and, and kind of learn the tools to kind of bring that forth and maintain it and make it grow. I've been changing, evolving. I've put on seven kg of muscle, so I feel beastly. <laughs> my mom would say like, my son, what happened to you? <laughs> now I finally can open up the doors for people to come into my house of knowledge and wisdom and deliver what I'm passionate about. I feel so fucking rich from the experiences and I might be the poorest one here, so. I've been in such a state of survival that being in this environment has got me to dream again, to better embrace the discomfort and understand it as a tool that's gonna strengthen me. So excited about the consistency factor that was birthed here. You couldn't not be consistent. I've noticed that my sleep has been really well. I've been able to get a minimum like nine of 
recently, I've had a lot of good um, conversation with a, with a lot of them about how to make money, what works when attracting clients. And I've learned that if you have like something of value, you can basically take much more than you think as, as long as you're confident about it, that you can create results. The future is moving more towards a retreat oriented going to a place with an intention, going to work out with other like-minded individuals and spending quality time. My spirit is fully awakened after this experience. It doesn't matter if you don't achieve what you came here for because you will get lots of different things that you didn't expect. It's just, yeah, it was just amazing. Very amazing experience. Because you're gonna learn so much, you're gonna live something so different that when you're gonna come back to your life, it's gonna be only positive. It's gonna be a life-changing experience. You know 100% that you will never regret it. One thing that'll always stick with me from this experience was the time spent around the bonfire. Talking to the guys, sharing stories, and getting vulnerable has been a huge, huge value add to this experience. It's been epic to see the way people have been present. I know that I will not forget the men around me. These are lifelong friends that I will cherish for the rest of my life. Nico and his team have created something here that is magical, mystical, and is gonna transform our culture and our society, generating and building the next generation of strong men. To break the cycle of strong men, create good times, good times create weak men and so on and so forth.